Hi, my name is Gloria Rabinowitz, and I have been a private high school teacher in the New York City area for the past 15 years. And what I'm going to be showing you here are examples of students' work where they are learning to paint from one primary color to another primary color, getting the secondaries and tertiaries. I teach Studio 1 and Studio 2 electives for seniors and juniors and I'm just going to scan and just give you some examples of some of the work that they did. In beginning this project I explained to my students about the value scale so they will learn the skill of having, of having to go from one tone to another tone in equal steps. They begin with pencil and I give this handout to them where they can see white to black and in the two vertical sections to the right I ask them to do in one column blending of pencil so that each step will be gradual and in the second vertical section they do it in pen. Before they go on to the painting project I explain to them theories of color. They learn about the primary colors of yellow, red, and blue, how the primary colors will then make secondary colors, and how the secondary with the primary color will then make tertiary colors. Before beginning the project, I show them how they can divide their paper into four different areas. As you can see, some of the students got a little bit more creative, and one student created a flower. But to begin, I just show them a simple piece of paper with four areas. In this paper, the assignment is to take one primary to another primary and get them in at least 10 equal steps. They can then go back from the last step and go back to the first. So what I mean by that, they can go from yellow to red in 10 equal steps, or if they find that they get to red in the middle of that shape, they can go from red back to yellow, creating all the oranges. In the other shapes, they are to go from yellow to blue, and then from red to blue. So it's yellow to blue creating the greens, yellow to red creating the oranges, red to blue creating the violets, and then the last shape is to create the complementary grays, which you see here, and then you see some of the grays over here. Now st some students did not exactly get the theory behind how to mix the complementary grays and complements on a color wheel are opposites so to get grays that are complementary you can mix blue and you can mix orange you can mix red with green and you can mix yellow with violet if some of the students had a little bit of difficulty getting that exact gray I gave them a little bit of leeway that as long as they can get to some kind of semblance of a gray, their goal is to try to take that area and make the steps as equal as they can, even if they are to create some tints within that large shape. To give you an idea of how I set up the room, and the materials that students use. They have a styrofoam rectangular palette. On top of it they put a paper palette which is disposable and they can throw out at the end of the period. There are brushes, paper towels, and just a container for water. 
The paints that we use are in large containers that you can see here with pumps and at the end of the period I put tape around the edges because what often happens, and I've learned this from experience, students often come in the next day and they pump and pump and pump and what has actually happened is the acrylic polymer has hardened within the pump and all of a sudden the force of that pump pushes all the paint out and it gets all over the students clothes and their acrylic paint is very very hard to get out. So this is my first example of one of my beginning lessons in studio art of the primary colors going to secondary and tertiary colors by mixing one primary to the other primary in equal steps. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please visit my website, New York Artists Online, www.newyorkartists.net. I have a blog. Please visit my blog for very interesting articles and I ask many people to contribute so I'm sure you can find things that will be of interest to you. Thank you again for your time and until the next time.